let's start out by opening up a broken hot glue gun. Then take all of its components out. Now let's make the drilling mechanism. I'm going to shave down two thirds of this wire screw clamp from a terminal block, electrical one, so part of it will look rounded. Now we're done with the drilling mechanism. And guys, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell not to miss my new videos. Okay, let's get back to the video. Let me show you how to wire up a DPDT switch that has three stages. So these two wires go to the battery and the other two go to the motor. Make sure you wire these two 5 volt batteries up in series. I thought it would be handy adding a charging connector so I can recharge these 10 volt batteries whenever I need. Now let's make the battery tray. So we're going to use screws for a stronger attachment between the hot glue gun and this piece of cardboard. We 
also have to have a place to slide in this connector. Hmm, I want to cover up these gaps here so it looks much smoother. I just realized it would be more practical adding a button switch as a trigger so that it'll be more convenient for me to activate it whenever I need and use the DPDT switch as a direction changer. By the way guys, don't forget to check out my T-34 tank video. So guys, that's about all for this week's video showing you how to make this electric screwdriver slash drill from an old glue gun. And this thing can drill holes if you have a really small drill bit, so then this thing doesn't have to put so much pressure on it. But if it's something too big, then this can't handle it. But it's excellent for screwing in and out screws. If you enjoyed this week's video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching guys. See you next week.